the Valkyrie does been demonstrated at EVFS this year, I see that it's PvP, whereas last year it seemed more like PvE. Can you elaborate more on what went into developing this PvP dogfight game for E Valkyrie? Uh, e Valkyrie has uh, really always has the focus of PvP. It's all about uh, multiplayer uh, dogfighting. Last year, the EVR had only one ship type. Can you give us some more details on the different types of ships that, we, that you have incorporated into E Valkyrie? So, uh, yes, we are looking at the different types of ships for the reason that we want to enable t team play, so people can have different roles on the battlefield and, and help each other. Um, what you've seen uh, today uh, and uh, this week is our base, uh, sorry, uh, fighter ship which is the middle ground, uh, easy to use, easy to pick up, uh, fighter, uh, or, you know, jack of all trades essentially. Uh, we are looking into uh, moving into directions like a heavy class ship with, uh, and, uh, and a support ship, like a logistic ship. Um, we want all those different types of ships to work together to form powerful combinations. Can you elaborate more on the weapons on each of these ships? So there's different types of ships, but are the weapons different also? Um, we're not going to talk about the weapons on those uh, that this time, unfortunately. Sorry. So if not the weapons, then what about the countermeasures for these ships? Will they have different countermeasures, or will they all be the same? Uh, they will have different countermeasures, yes. When the final build, since there are three types of ships and you're encouraging VP teamwork, about how many players can play at any given time? We haven't decided yet on, on the on the team sizes, but I think uh, something around I don't know, 16 people or probably more is around the numbers we're looking at, but we haven't decided yet. Are the ships customizable? Yes. Can you elaborate more on that? Sure. Uh, uh, what we're going to do is, uh, when you play the game, you earn skill points. Uh, you can spend, spend those skill points to customize the ship into how you want to play. It's not about powering up and getting more powerful all the time. It's more about having side grades and options that you know allows you to change the ship into exactly how you want to play the game. Would Valkyrie be in a sandbox environment, or would there be predetermined maps? Uh, at least for the first version, we're going to have maps. You're going to be sitting with a few different types of maps. So those are going to be you know, scenarios, essentially, which you play through. So does that mean that there would not be an integration with the EVE Online Universe, such as taking contracts for specific missions? It would be mostly NPC assigning out work? Uh, well, at some point, we will make a connection. But since we have a really small team and a really aggressive uh, really schedule, we are focusing uh, on just making the core gameplay really solid and really fun. And once we ship that, we are going to look into the integration. And we have plenty of ideas. So last year, I, I believe I interviewed like almost the whole team. It was like six or seven of you at last last year. So what's the team size right now? Because I believe that CCP has dedicated full-time staff to develop VR technology. Yes, yeah, so from the original group who made the demo, uh, five of us actually moved from here over to Newcastle. And uh, in Newcastle, we had a studio that was previously working on Dust. So we joined up with them. Um, we hired a few more. And I believe the team size is around 25 people at the moment, full-time on Valkyrie.